What's up folks, welcome back. If you're new, thanks for watching. Uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of streamer fishing today. Uh, if you're from central Pennsylvania, you know that the conditions haven't been real good for fly fishing for the last week and a half or so. It's been very hot during the day, warm at night, water's low, water temperature's up a little bit, but we caught a break these last couple of days. Um, yesterday it was around 70 degrees, cloudy, rain for part of the day and it got down into the 50s last night. So our water temperature should be cool enough that fishing's decent today. Um, have a new rod I'm gonna show you today. Built a little budget streamer rod, and I'll tell you about where I got the different parts from that, and then we're gonna get out on the water and do a little bit of fishing. There is a lot of pollen on my Jeep. That's actually pretty disgusting. But uh, this rod build that we bought, first, rod itself is a diamondback this is a nine foot eight weight rod um, and I got this off of a site called steepandcheap.com if you've never checked it out before I'd recommend going there they have a lot of fly fishing stuff it's essentially the clearance site for backcountry.com pretty popular outdoors website but I picked this up for just under a hundred dollars um, I think it's 50% off the original price of the rod Next component we have is the reel. This is a Lamson liquid reel. I got this on Sierra Trading Post, another pretty popular outdoor website, uh, but people don't really think of it for fly fishing stuff. They have everything you could want. They have rods, reels, they have fly line that you can get up at a pretty cheap price. And they also have bulk flies where you can buy say a dozen woolly buggers at a time. And they're pretty cost effective if you get them there. Um, these reels are kind of no frill, did a little research on them, but they're pretty reliable. This is a seven plus or minus weight reel, so I believe this is good from six to eight weight. Where I did splurge and spend a little bit of money on this build was the fly line. Uh, this is spooled with Rio Predator. It's a weight forward, eight weight floating line. I believe I got that from backcountry.com and it ran me about $100. All right, we're at the first spot. Water actually looks pretty good. That rain yesterday did it a lot of good. Try not to bust my crotch getting over the guide rail. Made it. Uh, I think I'm gonna walk the bank downstream a little bit, cross where it's a little shallow and fish this from the other side. I don't wanna wade through right here because it's good fishing water and I don't wanna spook the fish too much. Make just a couple of casts here before I wade across in case there's fish sitting right in front of me. And I hooked one. I don't know if you saw that fish jump out there, but it destroyed that sculpin and it took it with him. Son of a gun. All right, it is a couple of days later. It got a little bit too warm that first day we tried to make this video and I didn't want to kill too many fish. A lot of people will just quit fishing entirely once you get into June in Pennsylvania here. I think it can still be done safely. You just got to pay a little bit of attention to what you're doing. Um, keep an eye on the water temperatures. You want to keep it mid 60s or lower, ideally for the fish. Uh, the last two nights it's gotten down into the 40s. So the water temperature should be pretty good today. Big ass streamer.
Would it be crazy to rig up and throw a dry fly on this eight weight rod? Screw it, we're gonna try it. Hate it when people are too stubborn to switch up what they're doing and they're not catching fish. So there's fish in front of me rising. I put 5X tippet on this eight weight rod and we're gonna see if it can present a dry fly. Wasn't the gold, but. Oh, we're dialed in now. I think it's sulfurs that they're eating, so I just put a little yellow fly on. do it. Little guy. So surprisingly, I can cast these little dry flies with this rod. I just kind of got to be delicate about what I'm doing. Would I much rather have a five weight rod? For sure. Got another one. Holy shit. Looked away. Didn't even see that happen. Don't even need the net for this guy. All right, that dry fly action seemed to have stopped, but it did prove that this rod will cast dry flies, so mission failed successfully, I guess. I'm gonna work back through the same area with a white iron mic. It's another stream pattern from Lively Legs. There's so many fish stacked up through here. Didn't have my camera on, but got one on the streamer pattern. A little bit better fish. Kind of messed up and uh, still have 5X tippet on, so. There we go. Oh, that's a nice rainbow. Chunky guy.
Trying to let you go, bud. All brushed up, living on those rocks down there. He's missing a fin, too. Beautiful fish. Hey, hey, buddy, you got my line in your mouth. We'll figure it out. Maybe he'll figure it out. All right. Let's go help out Special Ed here. And that's going to do it for the budget streamer rod and reel video, folks. Big thank you for watching if you made it this far. Hit the subscribe button for more hunting and fishing content. Um, the rod and reel, it did pretty good. was able to throw those big flies a lot better than I can on my five weight rod, but was still delicate enough that I could throw dry flies if I had to. It's definitely not as good as if you were to buy a new Orvis rod and reel, but it also costs probably a quarter or less than what that setup would cost. So. If you're balling on a budget, hit up steepandcheap.com, hit up sierratradingpost.com. You can find some pretty good deals on fly fishing stuff. Uh, keep an eye out for this rod and some more videos coming up. I'd like to get it out on my boat, maybe throw some poppers or big streamers for bass. Again, thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.